Horse works super. He did exactly what I wanted him to do, and he came back good so far. What did you want him to do? Just that. I want him to work uh, a good five eighths out three quarters, but well within himself. The horse is super fit, and uh, it's it was just an outstanding work. A week out from the race, what goes through your head? What are you trying to manage in terms of the horse and his condition? Just trying to get him in there happy and sound, and uh, he's a very rare horse, so um, if he could just get over there in the starting gate the right way and, and get a good trip, he's going to be tough to beat. What makes him unique to maybe? Gate, feel like you're making progress, <clears throat> taking him over there and getting him used to everything? <clears throat> Yeah, he's visited the gate twice this week, and he did really well, and uh, there's no need to take him back. What makes him kind of unique to some of the other horses? That you have? He's just a, a naturally born rare talent. You know, this horse obviously has been that way for probably his entire life. You're talking about a horse that's a $2 million yearling, and he's by a, a stallion that went in the Hall of Fame, and the mother won a grade one, and he's just, he's everything you want as a trainer. Um, we're just trying to really stay out of his way. I mean, we, me and my team have been managing this horse, just trying to allow him to be who, who he was meant to be um, and don't do anything to prevent him from getting there, really. Seems like he has another gear. Is that fair? I'd say so. I mean, he's got a tremendous amount of power and endurance. <clears throat> he might not be the fastest horse early in his races, but once he gets moving, it, it does seem like his stride's probably two to the horses next to him. Ted Tyler was on domestic product. Obviously, he rides Sierra Leone, but he was he rode that other horse as well in the Tampa Bay Derby. Talk yeah. to me about <clears throat> putting him on him as opposed to, to say, Sierra Leone this morning. In well, way. my rider, Chris Bond, knows Sierra Leone so well, and everything's been going so, so perfect with that um, relationship there. I wasn't thinking of ever not having him work the horse, meaning Chris. Um, with Irad having to go to New York, to ride today. He wasn't able to work domestic product, but Tyler was perfect because he's ridden him before, like you said. So I often do that on a daily basis with my workouts. Different jockeys come out that I use that are on my team and breeze different horses, even if they're going to ride them or not ride them, just for various reasons that I have. And uh, it was executed perfect. And Tyler was quite happy with his horse as well. Yeah. Close positions tonight. I mean, how, how important are they? Do we make too big a deal about it? No, it, it's tough. It's a tough uh, process to get through. Um, there's there's a handful of posts you'd really rather not have with certain horses, so you just try to avoid those landmines and <laughs> end up with a, a post that can't hurt you. It's much like training. Um, we weren't going to go out there and do anything to win the race today. There's plenty you can do to lose it. I think with posts it's the same way. You're just trying to get a post that where you you don't lose the race there. I don't think there's a magic post where you're going to win tonight. Are there things that you've learned from previous derbies that you apply this year that help you with this derby? Yeah, certainly. There's things you, you learn as you go away. Little things, you know, not to go through them all, but, you know, how you approach the last works and <clears throat> plan around weather, around Louisville. It can change, you know, day to day and um, things maybe you shouldn't worry so much about because they're not as important. Other things about schooling the horses and getting them used to the surroundings and such. So you learn from what you're doing here from things that worked well or mistakes and you also keep your eyes open to people around you that are doing well and you, sometimes you pick up a few things there. The ones you want to avoid are they be the far inside? I think so. I don't know that anyone really wants to be buried way down in the first couple posts. <clears throat> I'm not so sure I want to be far, far outside either. Um, even though with Sierra Leone he's a, a bit of a closer, a deep closer, so you, you drop off. but. <clears throat> Anywhere towards the middle seems, again, to be safe posts that aren't going to get you beat, and that's really what I'm looking for. The paddock in years past has been jam-packed. What do you think of this new setup? You know, I haven't had a chance to really look at it too close. I took a peek just now when I was going to Breeze. I have a horse in tonight, so I'll have a better idea after I'm, I'm in there actually working in the paddock. You've been so close in this race. Any lessons learned from you? Having your heart broken a couple times? Yeah, certainly. You, 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 like I said earlier, you do learn a lot, and uh, it's a hard race to win. It's um, When you come close and you're, you're walking back after the race, you, it does go through your mind if you're going to be able to get back here again, because it takes a rare horse to get there. And it takes even a more rare horse to get to the quarter pole when most of the race has been decided at that point. You know, There's a ton of horses backing up going the wrong way. Um, I've been in a couple derbies where down the backside you're already done. and uh, But I've been probably three times I can remember turn for home I thought the horse had a chance so it's hard to get here to have two good horses with a chance it's 
yeah, you feel very uh, fortunate. Given that you've been so close before, Chad, how would you kind of compare your confidence levels heading into this year's race with um, previous times you've come to the good chances? I mean, I, I feel pretty confident. I mean, I've come in here before with a couple of horses. I mean, Good Magic, I was pretty confident. The horse would run a big race, and with, with Zandon, I felt super confident a couple of years ago, based on his last work here. And, uh, and and both horses got really good trips. They didn't have any excuse. They just couldn't quite get there. So with my two horses, I feel as confident that I'll have good runs in the Derby if they can get clear trip. Chad, with the domestic product, you know, it didn't give its pace in Tampa in either either race. What can you tell us about him and how he fits here? Why he fits here? The the horse, and that's a great great point. The horse hasn't had good paces to run in, and he's been able to overcome it and run pretty pretty good races. I think if he gets some pace to run at, you're going to see this horse get the mile and a quarter the right way. You know, we're going to get Irad on the horse, which who, who he hasn't been on the horse, but obviously this his um, his career is just in peak form right now, winning you know Eclipse year after year, and um, I could see him if he could save a little ground in that first turn and maybe be in that second flight right behind the the pace duel. Hopefully, I could see this horse making the first run um, when they're turning for home and, and being in the picture. He's a beautiful horse, and I will say he's always been highly thought of. His form's a little more spotty, uh, a lot more spotty than Sierra Leone. It's not straightforward. In his debut, he caught some kickback, and he didn't didn't quite like it. We were all surprised, uh, including the jockey. Flavian Pratt actually came out and worked him, and he, he, he begged to ride the horse. He said, I think this could be a derby horse. When he first worked the horse, he knew back then when he worked him, and he, he just didn't fire. So, you know, then he came back and won a good race, then he caught a muddy track of the remps, and he's kind of been all over. But this year... We took the blinkers back off him. He's two really good races, and I, I do expect him to run well. And that Sierra Leone looks a very curious horse. Yeah. And I think I may have thought when you earlier that you've done a bit of school. Any concerns about the big crowd on the No. No, he, he's, a, he's a very smart horse. He is a bit curious. You'll see him in the lane sometimes, kind of cock his head in and look. But we put a little blinker on him. That seems to have solved most of that. And he's a real gentleman of a horse. He, he's a bit curious, but he's very manageable.